So, I actually dated a much, much younger man once. <laughs> right? If you guys have never dated a much older woman, okay, I highly recommend it. You know why? We are a lot less insecure. Seriously. Like, if you're dating some young gal and you say to her, oh no, I forgot your birthday, she's gonna fall apart. But if you're dating some older woman and you say to her, oh no, honey, I forgot your birthday, she's gonna say, oh, was that today? Well, things happen. <laughs> but you know what? Okay, there's a flip side to that. Since we're a lot less insecure, we don't put up with as much crap either, right? Like, if you're dating some young gal and you call her up and say, sweetie, I'm gonna be a couple hours late because I'm out drinking with my friends, okay? She's gonna be like, oh, that's okay, honey. You're worth waiting for. Yeah. yeah. If you say that to some older woman, she's gonna be like, all right, look, if you're not here by eight o'clock, I'm starting without you. <laughs> I got meetings in the morning, honey. I can't wait. Yeah, so you know, this economy is really bad right now. I'm sure you've noticed, right? A lot of people are actually having to get second jobs just to make ends meet. Okay, I want to know when it's going to finally get so bad out there that our politicians have to get second jobs. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, let's see them work at Denny's when Congress isn't in session, okay? <laughs> Good luck getting any tips. <laughs> but I mean, think about it. What else could a politician do? You know, Obama is such an amazing public speaker, he would probably be a really good phone sex operator. <laughs> like with a teleprompter, right? Couldn't you see it? Hey, baby, I'm tall, I've got a dark Hawaiian tan, and a great big set of ears. <laughs> Are you into that, baby? Uh, Ma'am, I've actually got to go. I was just told there was a problem in Libya. No, I said Libya. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what, I could see Sarah Palin like being a producer for that MTV show Teen Mom. She's got the experience. <laughs> and I can absolutely see Mitt Romney teaching kindergarten, right? Some little kid comes up to him, teacher, Joey beat me up and took my milk money. Oh, well now did you work for that milk money or did mommy just give it to you? Oh, she just gave it to you. So you really didn't deserve to have it, now did you? Yeah, at least Joey worked for it. Mm -hmm. Now go beat up Susie and take her milk money, okay? And don't cry, because boys don't cry. Mm -mm, no, we do not. Mm -mm.